When ball batter like the make stuff made his camera stand, the idea was to do it around a single column that was easy to adjust. His design was great, but it gave me some other ideas. Meet the microphone stand camera holder. Yes, I know that monopods exist, but this is so much more thanks to the swing arm that makes it easy to adjust and lets you get in real close when you need to. And yes, I am aware that it won't work for a proper camera, but for all of us using phones and small action cameras to film, it works fine. Sadly, you can't just buy a microphone stand and smack your camera on it, because you need a ball joint at the end, both to get full mobility and to make sure that the camera actually fits. You have to excuse me if I mess some of these measurements up. This is what the US calls standard, the UK calls imperial, and the rest of the world calls and Camera holders normally have quarter inch, and sometimes they go up to three eighths. Microphone stands, on the other hand, have a standard of five eighths, but sometimes three eighths. So as long as both the stand and the ball joint speak three eighths, then you're good to go. As long as you remove the extra parts, that is. So how is the microphone stand camera holder superior to the normal tripod? But firstly, adjustability. With a tripod, when you want to do a big adjustment, you have to move all three legs. But here, it's just a matter of adjusting the swing arm or one single column. Let's do a speed test and see which one is the quickest. Let's start with medium to highest and lowest. I hope this was a good demonstration of the speed. Here you can see the second benefit, the reach. I have not seen a tripod that can go from 20 centimeters above the ground to two meters and 25 centimeters. I wish I had a ceiling height to make use of that. Thirdly, we have the small footprint, or should I say leg print. This is something this solution shares with the monopod stands. The single centrum column is the least amount of interference a standing camera holder can have. When you want to film stuff at a table, the tripod can't really get all the way to the edge, whereas a monopod solution goes all the way. The tripod needs to have its legs adjusted differently, so you get this leaning kind of unstable configuration. Not really the best. And here we see where the microphone stand is way superior than a monopod, because it has this swing arm that reaches in over the table to get wide overhead shots or really tight close-ups. And the price point isn't bad either. I spend around 20 quid on the microphone stand and 15 quid on the ball joint. And that's about half what I spent on this tripod bike back in the day. But what about the downsides, I hear you say? Aren't there any? Well, of course there are downsides. As I mentioned beforehand, it's the problem that it can't hold that much weight. So a big DSLR camera is sadly out of the question. And it's not super rigid, especially if the swing arm is extended all the way. Then you can get these wobbly things when you adjust the camera, but the wobble is just a couple of seconds, and usually the camera software takes care of it. But other than that, I haven't really found any downsides to it. I won't be throwing away my tripods anytime soon, but this will surely be my main camera holder from now on. Maybe it's something for you as well? Thank you so much for watching, and have a nice whatever you're having.